Okay, uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, this is Ricardo. I am the uh, Agile customer. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, my name is Luis. I'm part of the uh, development team. Hi, guys. I'm Lisa, and I'm part of the development team as well. Hi, guys. I'm Tanmay, part of the development team. Hey guys, I'm Yahweh, also a developer. Uh, hi guys, this is Ramya, also a developer. All right. Uh, so today we're going to discuss uh, iteration three. Um, we already have uh, an idea of what story which stories we're going to cover in iteration three and four. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to discuss. Uh, stories and and uh, we can distribute the tasks okay. as we go. Okay. So the first story that we have is uh, a story. Well, most of the stories that we have for iteration three are stories that we already started in iteration one and two. Uh, so this story here is a detailed search. Uh, which is as a, as a as a recipe user, I want to search recipes by specific criteria, such as categories, keywords, <laughs> titles, or user, uh, which is author. Um, so you are doing this, right, Lisa? Yeah, I was doing that. So I guess that I could take the story again. That's okay. That. So because all all the tasks. Uh, yeah, the the one that are in. Yeah, the one we listed. Mm -hmm. So I guess the user manual is the, is the Yeah, do do you need to update the user manual after you oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. should we like uh, we we have like uh, as we, we finished the, the previous um, iteration, we, we created this column estimate to complete. So we sort of have the like uh, the <coughs> estimation for, for the, these tasks, for each task. Uh, I want you guys to confirm if that's the, the correct number. If you need to adjust something, we can do it now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so. so uh, take all this, all this task because I already worked on this. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess that even if I give the search by author, author to another person, this person will take much longer. Yeah, the, the learning mm -hmm. curve would take too long, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's uh, okay. Well, well it makes I've sense. already went through the, the games. Okay. Okay. So about and the 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 effort, you think it's it's okay? The effort that that is here. So I'm not really sure about the search by keyword because I already started, but uh, to think about it, but I'm not sure how long it would take. I'm afraid maybe three is too little, probably mm. at least four hours. Four? Okay. Also, Lisa, uh, you're working on the search by keyword. Exactly. There are, there's another lab in which also uh, there's another story. Uh huh. And it's search by keyword. Simply search by keyword. It's, uh, it, it's the, that search that is at the home page, right? Yeah. So yeah, we, I guess there's no reason uh, that why you and Jawe should work separately. When I know, possible that you can work as as a pair. Uh, and so so uh, all of you, hello hello, hello? So all of you in the same room because I hear some. Yeah. It's Tame. Tame, I think it has a uh, background sound over there. Yeah, because I can't hear you clearly. Uh, hold on. I guess, well, Lisa's microphone is off and... Everybody, it's yeah. like Tame, not Tame. But is he here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. Uh, so, well, I don't know. Um, what do you think? I, I think it doesn't make sense that you two work in the same on the same task. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because well, there's the risk that each of us is gonna make it in a different way. Yeah. So there is what there will be inconsistency. Yeah. No. Uh, you can help each other though, but um, I don't think it uh, like the two of you should 
be responsible for for the task in separate maybe uh, i was thinking that um that way maybe it could work on the code detailed search back end to perform search by keyword once that is done i could integrate that in uh, in my in, in this story well, because uh, I I think that uh, for the old stories from the previous release, the only Jawa story, okay, uh, the only Jawa story that is left uh -huh. is uh, search by keyword. So probably so there so there's a, an overlap. What do you think, Jawa? Yeah, but uh, sh uh so uh, I just wanna know how Lisa works right now. I like you have make any progress or. <laughs> Uh, so far, no, I haven't started. I uh, know you mean in search by keyword. If I have progress, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not like a significant ones. <laughs> so you haven't started yet. Let's say yeah, like that. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, I can do that. So, uh, could you also please put that to iteration three? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna put like, this is like backend for search by keyword. Okay. So. All right, and do you think four hours is enough for for this? Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, if if not, uh, well, that's what the actual column is for, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, the the search by author. Well, this is this actually depends on something else. So I'm gonna remove this. Because we don't have a uh, user in this in the this, uh, in this iteration. iteration, right? Okay. So I'm going to remove this task. The author. Yeah, by author. We don't have author in uh, unless we have user. We don't have author, so okay. we cannot okay, have okay, search okay. by author. So I'm going to remove this. Well, and well, maybe you could add some hours to the user manual. Yeah, like task. what do you say? One hour. Yeah, yeah, one hour. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Uh, view recipe general details. So this is with uh, this was with Tame. Uh, what is what is missing here, Tame? I think I'm missing the pictures, so I need to uh, include it in a recipe, and I will display it in view recipe. Okay, so you need uh, this actually is related to uh, the upload. Okay. The, recipe, yeah. the add recipe and you need to view the picture here right yeah yes okay um i'm gonna put just an observation here like picture i don't know uh well for for the api i guess unless we don't have the the field there the the, the picture field in the collection yeah. there's not much to do here right yeah, yeah okay. you just need to change the model and yeah well i guess one hour is is enough to do that right yeah, yeah one hour is enough. all right so you're probably you're probably going to need to uh, update the manual as well right yeah i need to update it. so what do you say one hour yeah one hour that's good right great let's move on uh so edit recipe it's uh, it Sorry guys, I didn't even ask if everyone, anyone was willing to take this task because Tame was doing it and, well, you're going to do it. You're, you're going to continue with the task, right, Tame? Yeah, I'm going to continue. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's volunteer by Okay. Uh, next story. It's edit recipe. Uh, as a recipe user, I want to edit current recipe so that I can adjust information if necessary. Uh, it, this was also with you, Tame? Yes. Uh, I think I'm missing some field in edit recipe, like steps to follow in description and other thing for the edit recipe. So, uh, the edit, you, you think it's... Uh, can you speak a little bit louder? Because people can keep it Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I think yeah. I'm missing some of the uh, fields like uh, steps to follow and edit recipe dis uh, description in the edit recipe module. So uh, I need to add that field as well as I will try to add uh, images as well 
here. Okay, okay. So it's related to add recipe and yeah. upload image. Yeah, upload image. Okay, I'm put the picture here. So, well, for the API, I guess there is no not much to do. Yeah, but, CMS. Uh, yeah, if, if we change the the API for the view recipe, yeah, then it's the same. So we are, we don't have effort here, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna remove this. And do you think? Well, you you all you're also gonna need uh, to update yeah. the add, edit recipe manual, right? Yeah, I need to update. It. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna keep one hour. I guess yeah. less than than one hour is not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Um. Next, edit recipe ingredients. Well, as a recipe user, I want to search ingredients, update, add, update, or delete from the recipe. Um. So that I can keep record of ingredients and keep the, the quantities. Well, this is what I was doing. Uh, I need to, to review some validations here because, well, last, last time I checked, even though it was not on the, the uh, acceptance test, I realized that there was, we, we were able to add a blank uh, ingredient. And also there was a validation that we put in the, the acceptance test that was quantity be greater than zero and it was accepting even negative numbers so i need to fix that and it should be here in the the front end so you're taking this this story yeah uh, I'm, gonna, this task. I'm gonna continue with these tasks uh so basically it's validation uh code edit recipe ingredient api well unless we have uh price here i don't see why we need to change this so i'm going to remove this um th this task i think you can actually delete the whole row yeah yeah like these tasks i like edit uh, i i try to uh to um to reuse the the previous tables so mm -hmm. that one stuff here no, that no, doesn't make sense fine. right Okay, so I'm going to remove these two tasks because they don't make sense. And I'm going to have, I'm going to have to spend, I guess it's less than one hour, but let's keep it one hour. Uh, add new ingredient. Uh, as a recipe user, I want to add new ingredients information. Yeah, I guess the, the first thing that you have to do is like remove the code add new ingredient again because it's already done. Yep. Yeah. So I don't think you need to... Unless... unless we're, we're, what we're going to do now, we're going to add price. Are we going to add price or they should be in another table, I guess? In the ingredient? Yeah. Uh, what do you think? We were discussing about it the last week. Yeah, well, for this project, I guess we can keep it on the ingredient On the table. same table. Okay, that's fine. So you have to keep it there. Yeah, so this task uh, I'm gonna keep it, uh, right. but I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it in specifically price. for price. Yeah, and uh, let me check. Well, we don't need to code anything for each integration. We already have integration, yes, right? right? So I guess I, I'm gonna. But something is missing here. Uh, yeah, something is missing here regarding to the uh, the price, and uh, as a user. I should be able to delete the ingredient unless oh, they're being on. used. Hold on. I actually think we had created another storage for this, which is okay. in the, the next re the oh, next iteration. Okay. But well, do you need any validation? I guess there there was something missing. The, it, that's what I'm telling you. The uh, the validations are like that. Uh, there are three ah, the, the, we, you needed to yeah. validate whether you use if it's a user or not for them to be able to delete things yeah. or not. Because right. you have okay, so you need to to include the validation here, right? Yes. If uh, if the recipe if the ingredient had been used in a recipe, that's one. And the other one, I have to validate that the user. It's a user or administrator, right? Yeah, okay. So uh, this is uh, where, I, I, as I mentioned before, uh, this meeting, uh, we had 
um, we had split some stories mm -hmm. in different tasks, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, actually, I should have updated the the validation, um, mm -hmm. the acceptance test. It mm -hmm. was the thing is I, I had split adding add new ingredients with uh, into two stories, smaller stories. One one was add new ingredients by itself, and the other was uh allowing the the administrator the administrator the manager to put price when adding a, a, okay. an ingredient yes. so it's a separate story it shouldn't right. be here actually right. sorry right. about that i'm gonna remove this uh there's a story that is we can work on that story later on but yeah and uh regarding to the time i guess a couple of hours will be do it instead of one okay so what do you say it's gonna be like a two hours. Two hours? Yeah. All right. And you're gonna to need to update. In this case, do you need to update the, the manual? That's what I'm thinking about because when you're adding ingredients, it's only for managers. Oh, the uh, user. <laughs> okay. So I guess we this is this is weird because this is add new ingredient. This is not the lead ingredient. And no, we, but the, the, <laughs> there are the same in the same story. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There should they shouldn't be. Uh, okay. Well, that's fine. What, what, what do you there say? No what do you say? Sorry, call delete ingredient. Delete is here. This doesn't make sense. Well, now. It's... No, uh, I guess in the, the validation. Uh, the like in the test in in the, the acceptance uh, test. The acceptance test is there. Oh, okay. It's there, which doesn't make sense. Okay. So we should have created another story for the leading That's what you're created. saying, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. But what do you say? Like, well, let, let's put it in a bit ingredient then, because a bit is like. Okay, we we could have the lead in the yes. edit ingredient. Yes. So basically, what what we're saying is that, well, if that's not the case and we don't have anything related to user in this story mm -hmm. to add price or something mm -hmm. your this story is it's is, done then. it's done yes. so i'm gonna remove this right okay cool uh i'm gonna just keep a comment here before i remove it because we need to update the other documents as well right okay, remove story because delete it is going to be done in the edit ingredient story right we have 40 minutes less than 40 minutes okay so edit ingredient so yeah so this is where you're gonna put the the yeah, edit the, 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 the delete. delete so um the price what about the price uh, there's another story. Uh, there's that, another story. Sorry about that. Yes. So it would be like a couple of hours. Okay. So, well, here, I don't think we need anything related to the API. By the way, guys, I will need the help of uh, Lisa, either uh, GOA for the uh, search. Uh, ah, to search uh, for the ingredients. In like, the API, uh, right? I, I can do that because I even removed this. So, the, the, like, this is the part from my story in search okay search but what do you think like uh, louis can do the front end uh i mean what, i what you're suggesting I, I are, you, be able are you to do it are, are you uh you're gonna helping do that or Sorry, what do you want to search i just want to search either if the ingredient has been used or not so the only way to do it oh, is like okay. in the recipe Exactly. That's all. That's pretty much it. By ID. By ID. Yeah, it's actually stored by ID. So um, what I'm saying is, it's like only getting all the IDs, and then that table will compare to the uh, uh, to the ingredient itself, and it will say, okay, you know what? If I'm here, you are not allowed to okay. delete this ingredient. So I guess I can back in. Uh, okay so lisa code search by ingredient back end you you should put the command like back, back end. end yeah okay in the uh by ingredient in the uh you have to specify in the recipe list right 
in the recipe list. Yes, because remember, because you want you to are, check if the ingredient has been used already. Mm -hmm. In the recipes, remember that's what the task says. Okay. The task says you are not allowed to delete. I guess we we have something similar, there, but, but yeah. you're you're looking for the name, right? Yeah, because. Are you meaning in my search? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's different. So you probably need to implement something similar, but based on the ID. I just need the ID in the recipe, that's all. Yeah. Is it that if it's been used already, the ingredient, we need to not, not, it's not possible to delete it? Yeah. Yeah, no, I will, I will take care, I will take care of it because what I would do is like, since you are displaying the list of ingredients, when you click the edit, I can put an if instance that search for that ingredient. So if it matches, it will tell you, it won't allow you to delete the button, delete to be... We could enable, uh, disable enable. the, the, yeah, that's the what button. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So the, the button will be disabled if that uh, ID matches to the one that user want to edit. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking. Thinking how we're going to do Sorry it. for my English, but it's not my oh, primary okay. language. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm, I was thinking. Uh, Another way to do it? Yeah, we, we could search by the, the ID instead of. You, you were thinking about no, bringing no. all the. the oh, no, no, yeah. no, 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 getting the ID. No, that's right. Okay, okay. No. Yeah, so that's. that's so we're in, in the same page. It, it's yeah. the same. I was yeah, just. Yeah. There is no way to do it in another way. I no, mean, I thought you were loading all the, the recipes and no, then comparing. No, 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 no. Uh, Only the IDs of yeah. the ingredients used. Yeah. So, so I'm afraid one hour is not enough. No, I don't think so. So I, I see. Well, I mean, yeah. you're, you're more familiar with search than yeah, I Yeah, than, than we do, <laughs> actually. That we are. Sorry. Well, I think this one is, uh, um, you only want to know whether it's be being used or not, right? Yeah, that's right. From the recipe list, yeah, wait. I did something similar, but with the name. Yeah, well, the thing here is um, in the in the um, the recipe model, it also includes the recipe ingredient model, right? Yeah. And the recipe ingredient, well, actually, we have an array of recipe ingredients mm -hmm. in the recipe. Mm -hmm. We don't have a separate yeah. uh, entity for yeah. a recipe ingredient. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the thing here is the the recipe ingredient already has uh, the ID. The ingredient, yeah. yes. Yeah, so so actually, at the object, the total object. Yeah. Yeah. It's really straightforward. I don't know because it's it's inside an array inside the recipe. I don't know uh, if the find method. But it's not a field inside the field. It's not a field inside the the the, the collection. It's a field of no. an it, item of the array. It's like an item of the one single item of yeah. the array. So it's it's a bit more tricky than just yeah, yeah. putting like recipe dot ingredient yeah. is no, equal actually to. Actually, we tried and didn't work. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I would say. I would say at least three hours. Four? Four hours. Well, three. that's fine. Don't, don't be shy to put as many yeah, hours as you think. Like, probably I'm going to take this time. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be super fast. So no, yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. Kind of so are, are you comfortable, do you think, with all the tasks that you already have? Yeah, yeah that's... Yeah, what I already we... have is very little because if... Joey's no, no, I'm asking, asking, I'm asking. Uh, yeah, we just we, we just need to be careful not to overload. Yes, exactly. That's what uh, I'm... Uh, any developers? Yeah. The problem is that we have a very short time for it to it. And, and within this weekend, I need to have this done. Uh -huh. I'm not sure about this, but so far it's okay if I just have the previous task, this, uh, this thing in the detail search and this one, I think it's okay. All right. Uh, what about... Uh, okay, so we have, what, I mean, we update. We're gonna have to update the, the manual as well in this case, right? For editing. Uh yes, yes, okay. yes. Uh, no, put it in an hour. Days. It's not gonna be that hard. One hour, right? Yeah, it's. Okay, hey, I guess we're putting one hour for every single update in user manual, but we're yeah, not gonna but, use it. Uh, you, you will put it like the actual. You have to put something. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean. 
Yeah, it's, it's not, not okay. it's not okay. It's not okay. So, so put an hour since it's the least thing that we can oh, put. Oh, okay. So here there's the, another search by keyword, which is actually what, what Joey is doing. Search. Yeah, before passing to the other, I'm sorry to, to, to delay a little bit at uh, this. Uh, I just have a question regarding to the edit ingredient. There is another task that it says uh, regarding pricing. It's not clear to me yet. What, a price should be in another story. Yeah. Okay, you said that. Okay, again, I'm sorry. Sorry to delay. Okay, go ahead. I guess, going, yeah, we, I guess the, the thing is we made uh, confusion. Yeah, like yeah. In the, in the, the acceptance test. Because I'm still it should, to it the, should be uh, It should test. be separated. Yeah. Like, yeah, uh, that's fine. Your story should be completed. No, that's right? okay. As far, as long we understand what we're doing, it's okay. Yeah. All right? So yeah. that's all. Thank you, thank you for that, guys. All right, so I'm gonna put a comment here. We are gonna have to. Uh, where you're you're working on this, uh, this story, in the another task, right, Joey? So, yeah. Uh, maybe you can delete that task. Or or, or we can do that uh, because you, I I remember you make it a a, a story, right? Uh -huh. Last iteration, you make it a story. The, the thing, oh, unless we do this, what do you say? Uh, maybe Lisa should have a task here to integrate, to call uh, whatever Joey does. Or I don't know. But I, I'm afraid that Joey just passed it. It will need any way to use the. What? No, sorry. I didn't understand maybe what you no, said. No, uh, I mean, Joey is doing the backend, yeah. uh, back right? For the do search. the front end and then call whatever I've made. Yeah. I didn't understand what you were proposing. No, uh, she already had one one separate story for the search by keyword, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. She's she's suggesting that we uh, cut this task from here and put it in her story. No, no, no. Just just no. delete it. Whoa, whoa. I think she just wanted to delete it. She yeah, wants yeah, because please, uh. Uh, maybe Lisa's task would be like the front end of the search because whatever, uh, what she needs to do is get the input field and then, then, then call the API I provide, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I was thinking that we shouldn't delete it though because in the worst case we put zero effort because... So, but I, I guess it, the task should be something like uh, actually maybe we should put more effort in API integration for for you to adjust whatever you have to adjust to call whatever uh, Jawa is doing. I don't think it's um, no? that difficult to, to call her her implementation of the yeah. It's only a link. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, I, I guess I see what you're saying. No, but it should, if we know up front that we're gonna cover in another task, there's no need to keep it here. Yeah, I think so. Because there's no such task in this story, right? The, the, this is incomplete. The other one is incomplete. There are two separated there are two separated tasks. Just I think one of them should be zero, simply. The estimate. Uh then what no if if it's zero, then we shouldn't have the task. Well, in this I don't story. know, half an hour or something like that. Because if I'm not mistaken. Uh um we should do that okay because if some something is similar and he's already been implemented the other one doesn't need to be deleted i think we just need to really slow down the the estimate the complexity okay all right so i'm gonna put just one hour here just in case uh we required some adjustment okay. uh, right with lisa's uh screen okay mm -hmm. Uh, but all right, so let's move on to search by keyword. Uh, what do you say, Joey? It's uh, you, it was four hours, right? Yeah. All right, so it's four hours, and do you need to prepare something for the manual? Uh, I think so because right now I just say it can search by uh, the description and the recipe name, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, all right. Let's go. So add recipe. Uh, 
as a recipe user, I want to input uh, recipe data, including title, category, uh, author, list of ingredients, quantity of servings, cooking time, description, and unit of measure, photos, which is optional, and save it into a catalog. All right, so the thing is, we need to include the fo up photo upload, right? The picture. And again, I think I need some validations to do here. Uh, validations. Right. I was missing. Oh, yeah, I was missing some validations over here, so I need to include that as well. Okay, but uh, so Tame, I guess there. This is a lot of uh, stuff they stuff need to do. do. Like, yeah, yeah picture uh, itself. I don't know how how much it will take because it's. I guess there there, there is synergy between your tasks, like uh, edit and add. As soon as you know how to upload a picture. Yeah. Yes, it's the same thing. I think it's uh, same for the edit. Yeah, yeah. You, you pretty much you can copy the same code and, and use it. Uh, but uh, you have upload and validation. Uh, maybe I could work with the validations because I've I've already worked with add uh, with you in add recipe. So I guess I guess I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a separate task. Like you work with upload, and I'm gonna focus on validation. Yeah. And I hope we don't mess up with <laughs> our code. Okay. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, code add recipe. Oh, and what about the the effort? I guess I, an hour is it's not enough. It's not enough for me. Yeah, because I don't know about the picture, how much it will take. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So maybe two hours. Sorry, two, three, four. Uh, three, uh, two, two, two will be good. Only two? Yeah, only two. Oh, you're brave. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess for validation. Well, you know, I tried actually to put some validations, even though it was not in the most of the, 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 tasks. the tasks and I, I thought it was quite difficult. So I would say at least you know, three hours. Validation, I, as long as I understand, is the hardest thing. I don't say, I would say it's the hardest, but it's the the, the, the <laughs> okay. The thing is, uh, when I when I when I tried to use validations, I broke my my code that was working. So, mm. like I don't know if it was just a, a newbie mistake, but um, I don't know. I I'm kind of afraid of that. Yeah, afraid of that. So, well, we don't need to code anything related to uh, API integration anymore, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. And not the backend base because we already done that. Yeah, and well, we need to update the, the manual. With, uh, the upload. Okay. So well, these are the tasks that we had for iteration three. However, uh, we uh, we still have space for for. Um, uh, and and we we all, all we all like um, volunteered for the tasks that we were already involved in, right? Okay, so Ramya, I guess uh, we have some other tasks. Yes, uh, we have. Available for for release two. Okay. And they are they were originally in iteration four, okay. right? Uh, well, briefly. Uh, I, I would say like a profit margin and conversion table. Okay. These are tasks that are re uh, required okay. in order to, to build the other uh, stories. Okay. In preparation okay. Four. So, well, what is profit margin, for instance? As a manager, mm -hmm. uh, I want to be able to establish a default profit margin. Okay. So that the application can calculate and uh, the sales price uh, of a recipe. Okay. Uh, are, the, already... okay. Fine. Uh, are the prices already included? Because in the discussion, uh, Luis was talking that the price was going to be included in the next session. No, no. Profit margin is just we have like a, a only a configuration. We need to have 
I don't know if we are going with, uh, we're going to create a single configuration page mm -hmm. uh, where we can put, so far we only have, the, the only single configuration that we have is, in the future we would have other uh, configurations that are valid for the whole application. Like okay. it's a, I would say it's it's a similar to a global uh, uh, okay. variable okay. here in our application, right? Okay. So we need to configure this. Okay. Uh, it should be one single screen where you up, update. Okay. And we, maybe we need to create a collection of configurations. I don't know, or something like that in the database. Um, I have a quick question. You you want to fetch the entire recipe, uh, inventory, whatever you have in the recipe, and calculate the profit margin? No, no. Profit margin is just a configuration. We we're gonna use this, like, okay. in the when when we create a, a recipe. Okay. Uh, well, I I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that during the this project, but the idea is that when we have uh, uh, and a manager creating a recipe. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, when, when when a manager is updating a recipe that has been created by a chef, okay, um, by a recipe user, uh, the guy is gonna go there and uh, check the price. Like okay. he's gonna, uh, the the manager is gonna be able to check the ingredients price, and but as we had uh, discussed before. Um, the idea is that whenever the the uh, the manager tries to uh, edit the recipe, okay. there should be a suggestion of the price already, and the okay. suggestion should be made by um, using this profit margin. So if we establish that profit margin is twenty percent, okay, uh, and when the manager edits the recipe, mm -hmm. uh, our application should uh, should get the, uh, the the overall price of all the ingredients okay multiply by the by the the profit margin like y yes by, um, not, i said it should be like multiplying by 1.20 right yes. so it should provide us the the, the price but in yes. this in this story you're only have to uh create a a screen where you can configure this profit margin and record it to the database. Oh, okay. I uh, I want to retell what I understood. Mm -hmm. So we have to fetch one recipe, what the manager is trying to edit. No, 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 no. And this? calculate the margin and give it back. No, not for this story. Okay. This is this is what the uh, what profit margin is going to be used for in the future. Okay. For okay. now, we're only creating a, a screen where you uh, define what is the number, what is the value of profit margin. Okay. It should be like 20%, 50%, and then okay. you report it to the database. Is this okay. percentage that you apply to all the recipe is a general setting for- Okay, to the entire application we are talking about. Yeah, right? but you, in, at, at this point, you just, uh, you just have a screen where you, create the the, pers the the profit margin and then you record that uh, percentage that you define to okay. a table on the database you don't okay. have to calculate anything at this okay. point I, I understood it now right yes so basically well there's a front end uh, uh, yeah well since I am I'm more familiar with the API I can create a model for that it's gonna be only one table. Well, one field, one collection with one field, it's it's going to be... You say you are going to add it to the... Uh, oh, but it's a profit margin. No, that's fine. Yeah, just, just the profit margin should be just one. Uh, one, I don't know, configuration, a collection, and profit margin should be one, one item. I don't know. Should be something like that. Uh, okay, so... Well, you're going to do the front end, right, Ramia? Yes, yes. yes. Right. Uh, and what is the effort? That, what do you think you? Um, if it is only one uh, one item that need to be fetched by the user, and it's validations also. Yeah, yeah, it should be a valid number. Uh, 
a valid percentage and uh, just a text yeah. box that takes the value yeah it should be like a, a, a positive 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 number between zero and 100 percent okay so yeah i think two hours will be good because uh, this is my uh, yeah okay yeah. so um and but this is only uh, front end. Uh, for, the, for, for the front end yes to develop the the service and, service and i have uh, no idea about uh, that so i have to learn and develop so it, it might take time okay uh but uh service integration or integrating with api uh well we we do have examples in the yeah, actually in the page there are several examples for the how the service yeah will be Wh whenever we have like we have a page that is the front end we have the the, the component uh dot ts which is the back end for this uh, yeah no, not the back -end, yeah yeah sort of the controller of the the page the front end page yes um, yeah so we have like a, a ts file yes. for each page. yes yes and this ts file is usually whenever it, it has to integrate with the api it's calling a service yes and you can see the examples every service yeah i browsed already you guys implemented right i checked on it i got an overview of it yeah, yeah. Uh, and just a piece of advice all the services have been called in the, uh, the services folder. services folder in, yes i i think that but they are actually registered or the provider because they have to be registered in a provider section on every single component uh, right? yes usually not yeah uh, in a, right. that's the angular 2 structure yes true all the services are in the app model yeah. provider section mm -hmm. okay yes so whenever create a new service put it there because it's like uh, the way we were we've been working so far yes okay the only way we could work with services no you can you can put it in your component only and that's it and, yeah, and you call the service true. like oh, for yeah? Your, oh, yeah. yeah of course yeah. you can create the provider in your component and then the provider is is like a waterfall oh so but, from but, that point and on uh -huh. the service will be uh applied so if you call another or you create but, another but component as, as below a, to as that an, child as an inner, inner <laughs> class Yes, that's right. Oh, I yeah, see. that's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, Ricardo, I, I have a question. Do we need to huh? create a folder for profit margin because we don't have one? Yeah, yeah. We should follow the same structure that we're using okay. for the other uh, entity. Yeah. Usually, we have a folder for each component. Yeah. So there should be a new folder for this because this is a separate component. Yeah. When you create the, that's another uh, that's another suggestion, Ramia. Okay. We, using the CLI uh, mm -hmm. to create components. So whenever you create a component with a CLI, <laughs> you realize it creates a folder. Yes. So uh, no, I, I know, but it's just like a, a, a reminder. A, a yeah, reminder. Like it should be like ng, it's uh, a, g, g generate and component and the name, name of, of the, the component. Components. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, well, we still don't know. I, I don't know. What do you think is the effort for you to check our code for the service integration? And uh, at, uh, check our check your code for integration. Just because if there is an already back end developed, integration would be quick. Mm -hmm. Developing the back end and integration would take time because back end, I as I told, I don't have idea about Mongo. I have to learn. So for integration, I think I'll take one hour because I have to check stuff that's already existing and learn. So I think it will take 1.5 or one around. Uh, we should round it up. So two, okay. Five, two. Yeah, that's good. Or maybe three. It's uh, three. if you don't, if you're not familiar, yeah. maybe it's, well, it's better to put it three. Right. It doesn't matter if it's less because you're going to put the, the actual time that you use. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. But I'm not going to able to start on the test. I guess for for this week, maybe not Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, and uh, you probably need to create a, a user manual. For this. Okay. So, well, if since you haven't created a manual before, 
uh, I don't think it's going to be like uh, quick as, as the others. Like it's okay. Like one, one to two hours, I don't know. Okay. One hour? Uh, okay, one hour will be okay. For the user manual, if she hasn't done the user she manual hasn't done before. Anything? It's like she I know, I know, but still, but still maybe uh, two. Be like let's let's be I, I realistic. Well, let's be realistic. It's if you have to expect something, understand. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and if it's different, we can uh, include in the actual. The so, so I guess. Well, for now, well, we only have until the end of the week for finishing release uh, iteration three. So I guess we got it covered. Uh, I guess uh, like including more tasks, uh, assigning more tasks than this is it's not realistic. It's, it's not realistic. So I, I would no. say uh, we should uh, finish the meeting here, right? Okay. All right, that's fine. All right. So our, that means we are leaving the conversion table for the next iteration. Yes, All right, yes. Great. with the, the other uh, yeah, price-related uh, stories. Cool. All right. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you, in a few minutes. Bye.